Cyrilla, Fiona, Ellen, Rhiannon, heir to Nilfgaard's throne, chose the life of a witcher on the path. Geralt taught her all he knew, every skill he possessed, then each set off on their own. Soon, word of the ashen-haired witcheress had spread throughout the north, from the Yoruga to the mountains of Kovir. And what of Geralt, you might ask? Well, he continued on as before, giving hand to mouth, job to job, on the road, ever coinless. Geralt, good of you to come by. What can I do for you? My armor coming along all right? It's ready. I've reinforced the joints and bathed it in acid, as my clan's tradition demands. Thanks. How much do I owe you? Oh, please. I'd not be here if it weren't for you. It's a gift, in thanks for what you did. Take it, and may it serve you well. Thanks. And you take care. Might catch something. Lendon Vale? That's where Siri and I cleaned up the cemetery. Looks like monsters have respawned. Eric 17th, 1273, Thursday, Velen, have a new suit of armor and a fresh contract in Landonville, days promising to be good. I see tasty sounds. Well, I went to Oakland's name. His eyes red, like embers in a fire. Hey! I sent my youngins to pick mushrooms yesterday. To the woods? Alone? What? You know how Another it is. I've too many mouths to feed. What trouble. kind of mother are you? More food for the rest now. Ruffians to a man. Looters. Ye deaf. Be gone, you blasted mutant. Where's all this hate for witchers coming from? Where? I'll tell ye where. One of yous came here, ate his fill for two days while he thunk things over, then he says he'd do us a favor and kill our monster. What's your price? I asked. But he said he wanted no coin, for he saw we'd none to offer. So what did he want instead of coin? Said for pay he'd take something I had but did not yet know about. Then he left, and here the door swung shut behind him. Me last started wailing. What's these tears? I asked. Oh, I can't bear it, she says. I'll kill the horse and... Go on. Fool girl wept that some beast was gonna kill the witcher dead. Ye howling for a mutant, I said. Then she told me, told me, Bugger had bewitched her with his evil eye, seduced her, and that were to be his prize. A witcher's bastard. If he's really a witcher, you don't have a thing to worry about. We can't sire children. Thank the gods any more of you and we'd be lost. But this one, he beguiled me daughter, rutted her neath me own roof. That I can't forgive. Tell me where he is. Take care of this for you. Cemetery. Went there to slay the monster. Hope the corpse eater guts that fornicated freak. <sighs> Got a problem? Send for Geralt of Rivia. Thank you, thank you. You came just in time. A moment more and that ghoul would have filleted me like a flounder. Actually, not sure I should have intervened. Your combat style, it's new to me. Should have just observed. Where'd you complete your training? School of the Snail? But then where'd you get your wolf's head medallion? You're... You're the real thing. A witcher? Mm-hmm. What gave it away? That I didn't wet my trousers at the sight of one lousy ghoul? Answer the question. Where'd you get the medallion? I bought it. 
from a traveling peddler. Oh, the villagers are coming. Don't tell them about me, please. Monster slain. Oi, what's this? Two witchers? We only hired one. Only one witcher here. This man's a charlatan. Travels from village to village cheating people. No, no, it's not like that. I can explain everything I can. He's a crook, a fraud. Oh, we've laws for this kind, special punishments. Thank ye for exposing him, Master Witcher. Ought to take him to the village elder. Of course. Elder can decide what to do with this scoundrel. Last cheat came through, fellow pay him with shaved coins. We lopped his hands off. I'm sure your elder takes care to make the punishment suit the crime. Ought to start by taking his sword, tossing his medallion in the fire. Farewell. Life's difficult enough for us out there without those cheats, pretending to be a witcher to get it for free. Also costed me a contract that Swindler have to move north to Oxenford to find more work. Not another step, or there'll be one corpse more. Listen, I... Behind you. If you think I'm gonna fall for... Oh, you fucker. Arms! To arms! Monsters are coming! <laughs> If not for you, that would have been the end of us. Sure as spring. Have a lot of agles around lately. Might be an effect of all those portals the Wild Hunt had opened. What's going on here? Why isn't anyone putting that out? We want it to burn. Got it? Piss off, or we'll fry you along with a fucking elf! There's a third way out of this situation. about why they want to burn you alive they came to rob me i refuse to betray where i keep my valuables so they brought in a cart full of firewood barred me inside and set fire to the thing probably counting on you being swayed though i doubt they would have let you live even if you talked i've yet to thank you for your aid vatgern my coin lies concealed in a hollowed out stump behind the house take what you wish it's dangerous to possess too much in these times Thank you. Farewell. What's going on here? Caught another naked elf? We'd have done better to burn the blasted barn to the ground. What's all this? Not your concern, that's what. Not an expert or anything, but you two look like you could use some help. Aye, it's true, we could. Barns full up with some manner of beast. Barred them inside, but that won't hold long. And we'll be in a world of woe once they're loose. We're not rich, but cut the filth down, and we will pay you. Fine, I'll try to help you. We'll let you in the barn, then open the doors once it's over. Quick, Master Witcher! Or they'll get out!
Job's done. True enough. Here's your pay. And thanks for your help. Farewell. Need a witcher? Any bloke willing to kill a monster, a witcher would do. Monster? What kind? Big, bad, ugly, squatch in the sewers. If you're interested, drop by the Garen estate. Ask for Olgierd von Everek. He's the one ordered this posted. for old Geard von Everick. Ah, that'll be inside. Olgierd von Everick. I'm looking for him. Not here by that name. Can't help wondering. Who are you? Who do we look like? A crew of cutthroats? Or a band of former soldiers who got lucky? Ah, but that's where you err. Cause we're sons of nobles all. <laughs> and daughters. So, gonna tell me who you are, precisely? The Redanian Free Company. The wild ones, folk call us. Owing to the boar in our coat of arms. I was told I'd find old Geard von Everek here. Someone's made an arse of you, brother. <laughs> so maybe you can make up for that and help me, brother. Something tells me you and me have got different mams. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ungus, you've had your fun. I'm Olgierd. Tell me, what brings you here? No, no, I'm Olgierd. You? Not likely. I'm Olgierd. <laughs> <laughs> You're all Olgierd, that it? Got it right at last. One man split into three bodies. Not interested in his balls, so which of you's got his brain? <laughs> Not laughing. Guess that means you didn't get the brain. <laughs> nope. I'm the one got his fist! with our band of merry men. Come on, I'll take you to old Geard. What do they call you? Geralt of Rivia. Guests fish a 
bloomers. Bit of advice, also Geralt of Rivia. Once you meet Olgird, try and pique his interest. I gotta pique his interest? He's the one wants a monster dead. Aye, but he don't need you to kill it. So, you want this job? You gotta grab his attention. And he's one to get bored mighty quick. Ottoman, sir. You've a guest. Do you know what types of sculptures fetch the best prices? Statues of deities, busts of kings, and nudes. And what have we here? A naked wench. What do you think of her? Frankly, you gotta say I prefer the work of Pax Gernst. Ah, the Kaviri school. Are you an Oxenfurt man? No. Know some folk who graduated from there, though. <sighs> I used to like Votticelli. The life he could breathe into a chunk of cold stone. But I look at it now, and it seems just a rock, ideally proportioned. Not a flaw on its surface. Painfully perfect. As lifeless and boring as a boulder at the roadside. <laughs> That's better. More interesting, at the least. Very well. And now to the matter at hand. Let's rejoin the company. Partake of some refreshment first. Ataman Olgier. Long may he live! Long live the Ataman! Long live the Ataman! Long live the Ataman! Come and drink with us! Well, we haven't a choice now. <laughs> Fetch us some wine, dear. And a nibble or two. There's some special occasion? Or just feel like feasting. Every occasion special. Today we celebrate a dubbing. Whose? Squire Herodor's new saber. I've hit on a name for her. Fair saber, I dub thee Traditiana. <laughs> <laughs> Monster in the sewers. Know anything more? I've no clue what it is. Only that it's deadly. I'd not have bothered had my cook not become its victim. Ooh. The way she prepared game had no equal. That why she was in the sewers? To fetch game? Yeah, hey. She went to a fair with her sister or cousin. Matters not. Daff wench convinced her a prince transformed into a toad lives in the oxen third sewers. And you know women. Each craves a prince, and will wade knee deep through shite to get him. Missy was no exception in that respect. Now she went, never to return. Wasn't the first, it seems, either. <laughs> hey! Leave her be! Is there any way to treat the Lord of the Manor's daughter? Apologies. Now, where were we? Oh, yes. The contract. So, you'll check it. Consider the beast gone. Confident. Bring me its head, and the reward shall be yours. Hey, you! Puss papers! Name's Geralt. But I'm gonna call you Puss papers. That a problem? Get to the point. Got an offer. Potentially lucrative puss peepers. Someone's killed me mate. Name was Clivert. You're to figure out who did it. Then cut the bugger's head off. Why not avenge him yourself? Seems like you all relish swinging your sabers. Aye, we do. And if I knew who'd axed Clivert, I'd have gutted him ages ago. Thing is, I don't. But you see a lot with them puss peepers. You'll track him down. Keep talking. Clivert dealt fist tech. 
A few days past, he rode to Bowden to take a delivery. Never came back. Been there? Actually seen his corpse? No. But Cliver was one damned reliable orson. We was to meet. He didn't show. Can only mean he's dead. Find the bastard who did this. Find him and kill him. I'll pay top coin. Need to think it through. Clivert's got a scar on his forehead. Not unlike yours. Spot that, you'll know it's his body. Said I'd think about it. Know what, Puss Peeps? One look at a bloke and I know what he's made of. You'll do what I ask. I bet anything on it. Look for me in Oxenfurt. The Alchemy Inn on the main square. What a fun bunch. Might as well look into it before returning to Oxenfurt. Place is not far. What's that? Ghouls ignoring me. Smells like solutions, reagents. Wonder what's cooking. for a second, hid, then ran on. Scar on his forehead. Must be Clivert. Bolt in the back. Went in deep, so a close range shot. From the village, what that direction looks like. Crossbow bolt, and footprints, deep. Shooter must have been wearing heavy armor. Hoofprints, leading towards the hill. Someone's still there. What's this? Order of the Flaming Rose have a new seat? Not too shabby. You listen, Vagrant. Don't know why you're here, but take my advice. Go back to wherever you came from. So, why are you still standing there? I need to smash your painting. Don't like your tone, brother. Odd, say. I thought I was being polite. But if courtesy don't work, we'll try something else. Shall be over. <laughs> <laughs> Blood! 
CEO. Who the devil are you? I'm a witcher, or as your brethren prefer to call me, a mutant, a freak. You shouldn't be in here. And Knights of the Flaming Rose shouldn't be murdering humans or producing drugs. True. We shouldn't. We're supposed to defend the downtrodden, spread faith in the eternal fire. But Radovid tricked us. He broke his oath, sent our brethren to the front as common grunts, and once the mighty order was bled dry, he disbanded us. Took our lands, confiscated our domains to finance his war. The brethren who didn't object were appointed mage hunters. Those who took umbrage dared to stand up to him. They were imprisoned or exiled. We're but a handful who still wear the colors. And we must find a new place in this world. So you turned rogue? That your idea? Wonder what Siegfried of Donnell would say. Siegfried of Donnell would... But how do you even... I know you. You're Geralt of Rivia, Jack de Aldersburg's killer. None other. And if I had to go back, I'd do it again. That was the start of our downfall. You were the beginning. A cursed mutant! Draw your blade! No need to yell. Just ask politely. Holy drought dealers. Good thing I put an end to them. To be fair, without Yana's armor I would have ended up dead here. sword. Siri would have liked it. Long live Radovid! Long live. Avenged your friend. <laughs> I knew you'd succeed, puss peepers. I knew it! Go on, out with it. Who was the bastard? Bastards. Brethren of the Order of the Flaming Rose. What'd you do to us? Scald them with hot irons, pick out their eyes, skin them alive. No, just killed them. Oh, so handsome and so boring. Here, puss peeps, your gold. Ought to be enough for an ounce of panache. <laughs> 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 